Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Today we're going to get to take a look at a really cool knife, the Concept Shakiri, or Shakira, because Shakira, and it's thanks to my local buddy A to Z EDC. So if you guys get a chance, go give A to Z EDC a follow on Instagram. Check out his stuff. He's got some cool knives, really cool collection. And I'm stoked to be able to show this one to you guys today. So guys, this is a bigger knife. I can tell you when he got this in, I was a huge fan. I loved it. I love the look of it. I love the knife. It is just a little bit on the full-sized realm. So this is the concept Shakir. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But it is spelled... S-H-I-K-A-R-I. -I. Can you all see that? I don't know if it's focusing for you or not. But anyway, this particular specimen is in titanium with a real nice carbon fiber overlays. It's got a real nice um, titanium clip. And it has got a beautiful long damasteel blade. So again guys, this is a full size knife from every stretch of the imagination. The action on it is excellent. It is fly out, drop shut, fits the hand very well. It does have a choke up point here on this trigger, but it's designed for this full finger, four finger grip here with this You've got jimping here on the handle or on the top of the swedge, but it's actually this poon kind of serves as for me a hand rest when I'm cutting with this knife. I have cut some cardboard with it. That's why it's got a little smuts on it, but I haven't worked it, you know, through any type of feather sticking or anything like that. However, I feel like this knife would be up for the task. Um, its little brother, the non steel, comes in M390. The steel version, I'm not exactly sure what the steel is, but I'm sure that it's going to be um, very slicey. Let me get a piece of paper. And very able. And this has been working through cardboard, guys. So Concept does a really good edge on their factory knives that I've noticed. And I've only gotten the Bevy, and then I've experienced the, uh, I've got the uh, Bulldozer, which came very sharp. And this Shakira, or Shakira, is a very, very sharp knife. I think it's a super, super cool knife. I have almost picked it up before, not in the Damasteel version, in the other version, just because the action is so glassy it's perfectly centered you've got titanium liners you've got this nice titanium backspacer um, again all of your body screws are going to be t8s with the exception of these overlay screws which are t6s um, that's okay for me uh, this knife guys the blade is very heavy but it flies out effortlessly. The action on this knife is second to none. That's really why I wanted to bring it to you guys, um, was just to let you know that A, these are still available. Uh, I've seen them on many different websites. Um, if you're looking for, and we'll get some size comparisons here in a second, because it's not for the make, and it's not a medium, a medium knife, it's not a small to medium size knife. Let's just get down to it and see how it compares with our Cold Steel 4 Max. So guys, it's about the size of the Cold Steel 4 Max. When I said it's a full size knife, I wasn't kidding. Um, there's no need to break out the bug out. 
it dwarfs the paramilitary too. So this concept, Shakiri, is every bit a honking, overbuilt behemoth of a knife. Again, perfectly tuned. I think the blade is done very well. I think they could have extended the jimping if they wanted to. Um, again, it's not something that I miss, but it's something that I could see how it would feel. It wouldn't feel bad if it was adjusted. But again, it might affect the look of the knife. Who am I to say? I think it's just awesome the way it is. It carries... Let me... Carrying the mash today. It goes in and out of pocket effortlessly. And I'll tell you that it carries like a much smaller knife. Um, in my pocket, it does not feel like a behemoth of a cold steel formax size knife. So let me break out Javon's promotional tape measure. Right over nine and a quarter, right under nine and a half inches overall length. The blade is four inches. The handle is five and a half. That grip is four and a quarter. And when I say that grip, I'm talking about from right here to right here. Of course, I'm not using all of it, but if you had huge mitts, you could definitely get your hand in there. It is very, very large. It's an oversized knife, and I like it that way because it doesn't feel clunky. It feels very refined. Blade thickness is 0.151. The handle is only half an inch, 0.506 thick. So guys, this knife is very refined for a gargantuan size knife. You've got great access to the lock bar here. It's a, what do you want to call it? A, a um, bolster lock or a hidden frame lock so you don't put pressure on it when you go to thumb flick it. It's just done very, very well. But guys, that is what I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to share with you this badass Concept Knives Shakiri that my brother A to Z EDC dropped off for me to check out with a couple other knives that I'll be bringing you in the next week or so. But this is a good specimen. If you're looking for an overbuilt 4MAX style gentleman's folder, if there is such a thing, this is the one to grab, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it if you hit the bell notification icon. I'd appreciate it if you looked out for the guy or gal to your left, looked out for the guy or gal to your right, looked out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.